Welcome back. It's Pastor Cat, and we've been working our way through Galatians. You've been following along with us. And last week in particular, we talked about the fact that the grace and the mercy that came down through Abraham and eventually into Christ and then into us makes us the sons of Abraham, which is this amazing blessing. And on top of that, we know that we're given jobs to do as believers, then given the power to do it and the mercy to do it, all based on our faith in Christ. And these spiritual blessings were set up before the foundations of the earth. And now that we're in the Lenten season, it kind of got me thinking, what exactly did that mean for Christ himself? And I started looking into the actual events of Christ's life and the things that he went through. And the story I want to share today is about Christ and Lazarus. Now, Christ and Lazarus were buddies. They were friends. They were compadres, right? And Lazarus has died and the family is very upset and we're picking up our passage in john chapter 11 starting at verse 38 i'll put it on the screen here somewhere so you can see it. it says so jesus began deeply moved within he came to the tomb and it was a cave and a stone was laying against it jesus said remove the stone martha the sister of the deceased said to him lord by this time there will be a stench for he has been dead for Four days. That's right, four days. Jesus said, or did I not say to you that if you believe, you'll see the glory of God? So they removed the stone. Jesus raised his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you've heard me. I knew that you'd always hear me, but because the people are standing here, I said it so that they may believe that you sent me. When he said these things, he cried out with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. The man who had died came forth, bound hand and foot with the wrapping still. And his face was wrapped with a cloth. Jesus said to them, unbind him and let him go. That all sounds great, right? Christ had this amazing kind of adventure and he got to share the power of God with all of these people. But that's if you stop at verse 44. If you go to verse 45, it says, Therefore many of the Jews who came to Mary saw what he had done and believed in him. But some, therefore the chief priests and the Pharisees, convened a council and said, what are we doing? This man is performing many signs. If we let him go on like this, men will believe in him and the Romans will come and take away both our place and our nation. You see, even this amazing blessing that God brings, even in the life of Christ, tends to lead to a certain amount of hardship. So my encouragement for you this week is if you're going through a tough time, that does not mean that God is not moving in your life. It does not mean that these events aren't going to lead to amazing things later. Things you can look back at and see God's blessing. I know it's difficult when you're walking through it, but if we take the example of Christ, we can change lives of not only ourselves, but all those around us when we accept his mission and his grace, knowing full well that it's not necessarily going to look the way I would script it out for myself. Well, God bless. We'll see you next week. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below. If you have anything you need prayer for or would like to share any kind of comment or question, I would love to answer that. Join our community. Hit that like and subscribe. Well, God bless. I'll see you next week.